we know today there's a culture of self-treatment. People want to treat themselves. And I think there are a number of reasons for that. Medication is very available now. If you open the internet, you will see a lot of advertisement about uh, pharmaceutical products, about herbal remedies, which can cure almost any disease. And uh, so people have turned to using medication to treat themselves without asking for professional help. This is what we call auto-medication. It is the prescription of taking of medication outside uh, professional advice. The reason we can give for self-medication, I can name a number of reasons. Maybe if somebody finds himself where there's no doctor or where there's no nurse, uh, and he has a health condition, he can say, okay, I'll take this while waiting. Secondly, uh, if somebody is not able to afford medical care, because if medical care is not offered free, and we have to pay for it, the reason may be that the person is not able to afford it, so the person will now resort to uh, you know, personal cure or auto-medication. But apart from these reasons that are really outside the control of the individual, I bet that if somebody has a problem and has a choice and has the possibility of seeing a medical doctor or seeing a professional who will give him the best advice in that condition, who will help him to find a solution, I think that person should not resort to auto-medication, which in most cases is just to relieve the person, it, you are not sure if auto-medication will cure you because you don't know how long you are supposed to take that medication. Most of the time you don't even know the medication that you are taking. Maybe a friend advised you, maybe uh, you saw an advertisement in the internet, but you can never be sure uh, what is in that medication and for how long you will take it. Since you don't have any professional to advise you on how long you are going to take it and on how much you are supposed to take it. So we see the dangers are already there that you might not take the, the treatment correctly, you might take the wrong treatment and um, you can actually make your situation worse. Let us not forget that all medication, if wrongly taken, can be worse than poison. Any drug you have in the market has been tested we know what the side effects are, we know what it's useful for, and people spend years studying about this drug. So it is very uh, unreasonable to feel that you can just in one minute take it and then or know everything about it or uh, not take into account the information available before you take the drug because it can be dangerous. We do not encourage auto-medication. Now, one of the reasons that we don't encourage auto-medication would be because uh, WHO has done a study to find out uh, the dangers related to auto-medication. And the first thing they found out is that when you go over the internet where you have all this equipment, you have all this medication uh, advertised, that 90% of the medication that is advised over the internet is not effective. And that about 60% of the laboratories which are said to produce these products are fake. In other words, you have people who have understood that you can deceive people and make money. So uh, these are the main reasons for which we don't encourage auto-medication.